So here are my thoughts on the up and coming uh, Honda CB1000 Hornet. Um, my experience uh, that I've got, the closest thing I've got to it is the Honda CB1000R, which is their current uh, naked bike of choice. And I had that for a few months and um, this is my video from like the first day of having it. Oh my goodness, that's mental, that is mental. And I massively enjoyed it. It really encouraged me to develop uh, my riding skill, riding confidence. I really felt it was almost like two bikes in one. The engine was a very characterful. That inline four was an absolute screamer. The power delivery below 6,000 uh, RPMs was nice and relaxed. Um, and then above 6,000, it was mental. It was a wheelie machine without even meaning to be. Um, so it, there was almost a bit where I was like, I wish the torque curve was more flat rather than going so much more powerful after 6,000 RPM. But in terms of uh, the riding experience, wow. Wow, that's, that's amazing. You can, as you can hear from me there, when I uh, uh, had it, uh, it really did feel like an amazing bike. Oh my god, this is amazing. It had around 150 or 145 horsepower, 150 horsepower, somewhere around about there. And it uh, that inline four really kind of did make me think that an inline four is the kind of engine which I really enjoy. Uh, oh. the, only, the only thing I had, I didn't have one with any a quick shifter uh, at all. And I did get a false neutral at one point uh, between gear three and four, which really kind of uh, scared the living crap out of me. Um, but otherwise, engine wise, it was, it was that. I'll put uh, the link to this video, to my first day video, uh, riding with it um, at the end of this for you too. I love this bike so much. Okay, so I, you can see I enjoyed it a lot. The new one that's come out, is a uh, looking like it's going to have pretty much the same engine, same performance figures, roughly around about uh, 150 horsepower. Uh, I will be interested to see any dyno charts, see if the torque curve has been adjusted in any sort of way going on here. And uh, and what is amazing is they have brought the price down so much. Um, so I think I think the horsepower and the torque are up compared to the previous. Uh, the CB1000R, which I was writing here, um, but it's a uh, it, so look, but it's also so it's got more power, it's newer, and it's cheaper, which I think means it's going to absolutely one thing that the Hornet is going to do, and it looks pretty cool as well. I think the Hornet, although it's a slightly different looking bike, it's a more modern, angular looking bike. Compared to the uh, bike here, which I don't know if I got any actual footage of the bike. Did I take any of it? Yeah, there it is. Um, Where we go from here? It's a more, uh, I think they called it kind of more oh, retro, it's just, it's just re modern like retro or something like that. A bunch of bees right between your legs that are just all desperate to go in and sting so everyone. I just wonder like if this new Hornet is going to absolutely destroy the secondhand market sale price for anybody that's got a CB. 1000 R. It may also take, I think, if they are still producing or if any shops still have the CB 1000 R, they're going to really struggle to sell oh, yeah. them cool. when for mm, several thousand pounds cheaper you can get a brand new one that way. Um, uh, with oh, possibly God. more Jingle horsepower. Fucking flexible for this. Ugh. Uh, I wonder, did I get any other shots where you actually see the bike again? So I took it all around town. I really enjoyed its its uh, the angriness of the engine. This was just with the stock exhaust as well. Um, and a single-sided swing arm was very cool. So I think this new one, this new one, if I'm right, doesn't have a single-sided swing arm. I might be wrong. Let me just double check. Let's watch that. It is... It's very cool. I'll just take the music off there. Uh, yeah, so so that's one thing where they've managed to make it cheaper is by having a dual-sided swing arm going on here. Um, but uh, I I think this is going to be an absolute win for Honda. Their advert was a bit odd. It was a bit like a rap video, which I thought was a bit crap. Um, their, their advertising department really kind of sucked on that, I thought. 
Um, but uh, in terms of what this is, the power that you get, the everything, model features and equipment, what's it saying? Two, one piece steel, blah, 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 mass geometry for angles. It'll give you all this crap during their marketing videos. Now, but there is a problem with this. Uh, oh, the uh, problem for me is if I go on to Honda.com or whatever, you can get this for £9,000. That is astonishing. In this iridium grey on my web on the website, it's a bit confusing as well because down here it almost <laughs> this is where it becomes is it a Ducati? That looks like the Ducati green that you've got. There's a Ducati uh, Street Fighter V2 in green, and I thought that looks like the green the green version of the Street Fighter. That looks awesome. Um, but then when you come up above, it looks really shiny silver. So I was like, okay, that's... So I really need to see what that looks like in the flesh. Because that looks different at all different angles uh, going on there. However, the red... Ooh, how much is that a Ducati Street Fighter? Uh, to the point where I'm thinking, I'm surprised Ducati aren't suing them for copyright infringement. If you, if you, literally, if you took away that Honda uh, wing badge... You would think that's a Ducati Street Fighter. Uh, uh, well, you wouldn't because it doesn't have the oil filter, uh, not the oil, the oil radiator at the bottom, and so all this exposed um, exhaust uh, pipes going here. Uh, again, in comparison to previous bikes that I was looked at, the like the MT09, uh, the MT10, the cat underneath this looks far s more slimline. Uh, much less of a tumour colostomy bag coming at the bottom of it. So, so this is okay. Right, let me get to my point with the problem of this. Uh, white looks cr looks really dull. I just think that looks really plain and boring. I wouldn't go for for white. Um, so, my personal view would be I like the thought of having a discounted Ducati Street Fighter. <laughs> So it's about the same price as it. The Ducati Street Fighter V2 is around about £16,000. In fact, hold on. Ducati Street Fighter V2. Uh, can we... Where does it say the price? Yes, yeah, £16,390. Can we get... And look at that green. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Single-sided swing arm. Uh, the full... Oh, we can't... Let's go around. But yeah, the okay, the Ducati is what you aspire to. However, for nearly half the price, <laughs> uh, wait, can we just go? Uh, okay, there to oh, there's not much of a difference. Okay, apart from all the radiator, the red bits, the exhaust, the wheels. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a lot. Of, okay, oh Christ, actually, see when you go from one to the other. It does look really budget. It does look really budget. But it is really budget. So you can't complain about that. <laughs> so that's... Oh, the Ducati just looks astonishing. Absolutely amazing. What an amazing bike. And the Honda, after looking at the Ducati, looks like it's Fisher Price. It's the Ducati from Timu. However, it's priced as the Ducati from Timu. So for £9,000, yeah, you're talking about 80% off compared to the Ducati. So the Ducati, uh, if this one depreciated by 50% over three years of ownership, it's still uh, more expensive than uh, a brand new one of these. Or is that right? Somewhere around about that. So somebody do the maths of that one. However, uh, then the next problem is, that if you want to get the full horsepower, so the next one, which is the SP version... That one comes out with a tiny bit more horsepower. It's, it's about five more horsepower at the very, very top. And it comes with better um, suspension. It also has these cool gold wheels. I'm digging the gold wheels. And you can see that Olin's uh, suspension in there, which I was like, oh, well, you want to get that. But it only comes in black. It's like, damn, I, I want... So this is my problem. I want the SP version... But in red, if you could have red, um, there must be, uh, do you know what? That must be an easy way to just get different body panels for that. Because I do think the gold forks, the gold wheels, the all in suspension. However, what I would also suggest is this briefcase of, uh, of an exhaust at the back. Um, 
means that you have to go into the uh, configurator. So we've got packs and accessories. Uh, what have we got here? We've got comfort pack, sports pack, style pack, around about £500 each. Um, another Definitely also you'd want a radiator grill as well. So if we go to p- performance, there is an SC Project slip-on exhaust, which will look vastly better than that, possibly be a little bit lighter. So it'll still have the catalytic converters and all that kind of stuff, but it will be um, possibly a tiny bit lighter, a bit less unbalanced, you know, taking all the extra weight off from one side and uh, maybe sound a little bit better. However, it is an extra thousand pounds. And annoyingly, the website doesn't actually show what it's going to look like. So... So now you're up to about £11,000. Okay, protection, uh, yeah, radiator grill. I definitely want to add that. Uh, indoor body cover, don't want a tank pad. Yeah, let's add that. Luggage, don't need any of that. Design, handlebar, uh, undercowl. The undercowl is also a bit of an odd one. Uh, I'm not really, it's not really that much. Nope, no, not seat cowl. Where was I? I was meant to be at under undercowl. It's just a little bit there. So it's not like coming all the way to the front and actually protecting... Uh, the side of the exhaust or anything like that. So that seems like a little bit of a pointless addition, but let's just go add, uh, going on there, the rest. Uh, oh, wheels. Oh, that's just stripes. That's nothing. Comfort, heated grips. No point getting heated grips. Certainly for £335, just get heated gloves. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that that looks pretty sweet uh, going on there. So you've got, again, 11000 Five hundred pounds compared to the Ducati, we're still a good five thousand pounds cheaper than the Ducati. But I think I would probably go for the Ducati still because that just looks amazing. However, you've got to also think of all the additional costs, so the additional insurance, the additional chances of this having oil leaks or breaking down, uh, the additional service charges, all that kind of stuff. So that's sixteen thousand pounds. Let's just round it up to twenty grand, yeah. Uh, and the the Honda. Once you add all this up together, it's probably still only about twelve thousand um, pounds. So yeah, for me, I, I I just wish we could have it in red with the gold wheels, the gold um, gold suspension, good uh, Olin's shock at the back, uh, that and and all the power and the better exhaust. But it's not letting me see the actual. Uh, exhaust there. So yeah, I think the red looks the business. Also, interesting, on the red, if we go to the accessories and we go to performance, you've got two... Oh, we need to add the quick shifter as well. Add quick shifter, add the uh, slip-on exhaust. Uh, now we're at £10,000, uh, so a very little difference. Um, but I think just for resale price as well, if you ever have this bike then you want to sell it second-hand, uh, the SP will be far easier to sell second hand than just the the basic version of it um so yeah my my thoughts of it is that this looks like it's going to be an absolute win for uh honda it's going to destroy i think the cb 1000 r second hand prices in fact is there do i have uh the hold on models street are they still selling the CB one thousand R they are okay. It is here. Uh, let's see if we go to the black version. Yeah, you want to go for the black. Uh, and what is this? If we go to configurator, it's, we're talking. Oh wow! Hello, three hundred ninety nine pounds. Is that it? Or maybe this website is just incredibly slow to load on thirteen thousand. Ah, it does. <laughs> this website really is a bit glitchy. Look, can I just see the reset reset view? There it goes. Oh, I think the. Mm, I think the other one's better now. Especially if we can get a better exhaust. Is there a choice of exhaust packs? Design, journey, comfort, no. Uh, comfort, design, luggage. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking. The Hornet wins. The Hornet wins and looks. I think it looks like absolute business. So talk about those rear shocks, the extra horsepower, the gold wheels. 
custom on the uh, and just get it with a slightly better ex and that red it does it looks like a ducati looks amazing so yeah uh well done honda well done for their pricing all other companies look forward however i do think you will if you had a c cb 1000 r your second-hand prices are going to get a bit of a beating from this. I don't know who's going to want a second-hand CB1000R. That doesn't produce the same amount of horsepower. It may be a slightly better finish, but you're, you'll be talking about a bike which is two, three years old. Or you can get one brand new with all the warranties and all that kind of stuff. And the same amount of power and performance. <sighs> It's it's a hard it's a hard sell to get the, the CBRs, but what I can say is that it is an amazing bike, an amazing engine. Um, uh, it was quite tall. That's the only thing. So it was one hundred eight no eight hundred and thirty five centimeters for the um, seat. So for me, it was a bit nervous on any kind of um, slippery ground. If you're stopping, you go into any slippery ground. But just the performance. Listen to this. Hold on. Hero, give it some. In the opposite direction of any traffic. Oh, this is on a private closed road, I think. Ah, oh, just hearing that engine absolute scream. Oh, is is such a good bike, such a good bike. So if they can make uh, the Hornet as as engaging to actually ride as the CB one thousand R, it's it's a it's a no 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 brainer, game over, something like that, whatever it is. Uh yeah, it's good. It's gonna be cool, but yeah, just get rid of the briefcase exhaust. Maybe black will be cool in the sunshine. It's just. From a rider's view, black's just a bit bit dull, I think. And I think the red just like, really kicks off. But maybe with the gold, I don't know. Got to see it in future. So the hope is uh, I'll get to see this in the actual shops in the future. Um, but yeah, well done, Honda. Uh, this, this is going to possibly be the biggest seller 1,000cc naked motorbike for the next couple of years, I think. Well done.